Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, today, Joe and I came back out to the truck to haul, boom, right there, haul some lumber. We've got lumber for a new dock, uh, a big like fence style supports for our solar panel system, new fascia for the sides of the lodge, a little bit of everything. After Kyle and his wife headed out, after ice fishing and the things that you saw in the um, one of the last episodes, uh, he said, hey, why don't you guys borrow my trailer? And so thank you, Kyle. That's a huge blessing. Get some of this stuff up to the lodge today. Hopefully haul it all. It's going to take three loads. One load already went up. It is freezing cold this morning. My hands are ice cubes already. So I'm going to get going, loading up some groceries in the truck. I'm still waiting for Joe to come down the trail. He's taking it nice and slow with that freight sled um, that he uh, we broke a couple episodes ago. And uh, he got it all welded up looking good. And so we're hauling, hauling some heavy freight today. The sun popped out and the temperature shot up. It feels a lot nicer. Uh, we got the last load of groceries in the back of my sled. Joe's here now. So once again, thank you Kyle for the use of the trailer. And uh, Joe's gonna use his automatic lumber loading skills to get this sucker going and we'll get on the trail. All right, awesome. Good job, Joe. I didn't even have to lift a finger. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. Let's get home. This uh, sunshine is making the snow really heavy and crunchy, so we'll probably get home and clean off some cabin roofs and wrap it up for this week. Can't nap now, nap later. Eileen, what are you guys doing? What? What are you doing? How come? They're gonna plan so hey. soon. And you know what's exciting? What? We collected a bunch of apple seeds and they're ready to plant, so we'll see how that works. You think you're gonna grow apples out here someday? Well, maybe. It's and a like, pretty small like, chance, but it's possible. Yeah, the girls are shoveling out the greenhouse for me. I incentivized them. We need to get into it because it has all of our pots and some of our seeds and like gardening stuff. Bonnie and I need to start planting some seeds for flowers mostly and um, vegetables. It does not really look like spring to most of you out here, but the fact that the sun is shining longer and it's actually pretty warm outside. It's like 30 degrees. All of us are sweating in our snow clothes if we're moving around. Bo kicked his boot off. Um, but now is the season where we start getting Busy with planting, busy with getting firewood, um, hauling any supplies in, and so we're just kind of getting stuff ready for that before we are all the way stuck out here for breakup season. Breakup is when all of our snow starts to melt and it's not good enough for riding on anymore on the trail. Um, and also the lake starts to get soft and thaw out so it's not safe to land on but it's also not safe to land on until all the ice is completely gone for a float plane. Um, if there are any remnants of ice in the lake still and a float plane tries to land and a piece of ice hits their float it's possible it could puncture it and we definitely don't want that so um, that is the breakup season for us. So we're just kind of getting ready for that even though it's probably about I don't know, three weeks, maybe a month away, depending on how the temperatures go and how things start to melt. So just getting getting stuff done and getting ready for the upcoming summer and spring. It's pretty packed snow down there. Much appreciated. Thanks. Got some snow shoveling to do today, just like any other day out here in the winter. But you want to know what that is? That is the second machine Joe's broken this year. How many have I broken? 
zero. Yes. So Joe is down two snowmobiles and one freight sled. The freight sled, he successfully welded. We're hauling back and forth. Lumber is all good. Or he, the lumber all actually is stored in the shop right next to the solar panels. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But uh, yeah, he couldn't weld his way out of this mess. We had to order a new part for me. What does my morning look like? I have picked my weapons of choice. You gotta have a snow scoop out here. Those things just, uh, they move a lot of snow and you don't hurt your hips and your rotator cuffs and all that. So I'm looking behind me and my, like a meteorologist. We've got a layer of snow here, big old layer of snow there. So yeah, I'm gonna go into a time-lapse, clean off that roof there. And um, the snow is just so heavy and I would hate for the cabin roofs to collapse right before tourist season. That would be bad. So let's get to work. I mean, I'll get to work. You can watch. Okay, let's go. All right, that is some pretty dense snow. I moved a couple thousand pounds of snow off of that. It's not a bunch, but it's enough to really help. And as I get snow off of that leading edge, the sun hits the warm, dark colored shingles. It, it warms up the dark colored shingles and then causes the melt to happen a lot quicker. But uh, yeah, a couple thousand pounds really helps, but that took longer than I thought. So I think I'm just going to, for this roof, I'm just gonna work some of Joe's magic and hope that this works. Just like that, it's done. No camera tricks. The sun hasn't even changed angles and I'm not even breathing hard. You're breathing hard. So now that I've made a complete mess, let me walk you around, show you one more thing I gotta do. So the last thing I gotta do, that's like thousands of pounds of snow. So the kids are just walking right up onto the roof right there at the pantry. The, the problem is a bunch of snow fell into the pantry hole. Snow is pretty deep. Every one of those steps is almost a foot um, and it's hard to get down there. <laughs> We've been shoveling the steps way too big, but um, I got to clean that hole out and then I got to call it a day. I don't got to call it a day. I want to call it a day. <clears throat> That's a lot of cardio. Hey guys, I'm here putting my Jag back together and it has been a struggle to say the least. The crazy thing is, is I've done this before and it's been long enough I can't remember how I did it. So, called up a couple friends, they gave me some pointers and uh, we're back at it. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So, <clears throat> there are axles. This is one of the axles or cross shafts, if you will that goes from that side of the tunnel to this side. And I could not get it lined up with this bolt hole here. And I've got another bolt hole right back there. So there's four, there's two on this side, two on the other side. <clears throat> so what I did was I hooked a strap up to there, ran it around the back and hooked it at the same place on the other side. And I ratchet strapped this, this frame back until those bolt that front bolt hole lined up um that was the trick what are you doing i am winning Woo almost winning i'm in the fourth quarter and there's two minutes left <laughs> but uh but i'm putting a good drive together and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna win so yeah well. we're getting it i'm just it's like trying to solve a puzzle so i told chloe and she goes, I did a puzzle this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the same thing. Yeah. But it's all, uh, you know, at that age, you're learning for life situations like this. So. All right. The Arctic cat has moved. That means Joe fixed it. Let's go check in with the mechanic. Nice work. Hey, thanks. Getting it up and running again. I was going to go into the shop if you don't mind opening the door. Yep. So all the freight we hauled. Oh, right there. Pressure treat plywood is gonna be the cover of our new dock. Poly barrels, solar panels. So yeah, once again, it's a storage unit. We were gonna start doing more videos in here, um, but not at the moment. Here's 
<clears throat> oh yeah, our fancy charge controller for our solar getup. This That's, thing weighs about 125 pounds. It's probably. huge, yeah. All right, let's go show them the uh, the tractor shed. Let's head that way. So a friend of ours is buying this tractor, and when Zach and I decided to sell it, um, it really is not of good use to us out here. The market is very slim for who we could sell it to. So this friend of ours says, hey, I'll get it. I know what to do. I've freighted big stuff before, and uh, Zach and I said, thumbs up, we will video it. Watch him and his buddy get this thing out of here. Right on. Wave goodbye oh. to old tractor. And also, we gotta make room. This isn't the reason we're selling it, but it's a happy accident. This is still gonna be the tractor shed because we're getting a riding, riding lawnmower out here, a tractor. The one that... The one that you guys saw in that one video yeah. one time. Yeah. And uh, so this will be the riding lawnmower tractor shed. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in this week. That's all we got for you. Um, more adventures to come, I'm sure, as the weeks progress. We're getting into uh, firewood cutting season. Gonna get down the trail and start cutting a ton of firewood. Uh, we got a couple more trips to town. Gotta get a thousand pounds worth of batteries for our solar panel setup. Not sure exactly how we're gonna haul those yet, just uh, slowly but surely. None of our uh, snowmobiles are super powerhouse machines. So we'll just haul them up a few at a time. I'm gonna sign off on this beautiful blue sky day and we will catch you in the next video. Like this video, little thumbs up button below you here on the screen somewhere. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already to support the channel. And uh, yeah, drop a comment below. Let us know how much snow you're dealing with, where you're located. And if you're in a subtropical location like Boise, Idaho, you're probably not dealing with snow. But anyways, uh, we'll talk to you later. See you guys. It's cute. I just thought you were going to take a picture. Should I keep going? <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> oh, shoot. That's my... I found the cabin dance. <clears throat> we got this little cove back here that wind blows. I can literally stay out of the cold for days at a time just by hunkering in this snow cove like Bear wheels does. The only thing I'm missing is some grubs or some some feces to to live on for the next 48 hours. Well, that's disgusting. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. <laughs>